Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rentnarb Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about the comic books I've read, Kickstarters I've backed, what you should know about that is on Kickstarter, and other random stuff like uh, my mailbox and whatnots. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to start with um, it's been a very, very, very long time since I've made a show for this channel, uh, YouTube channel, and uh, the reason for that is. Back in the spring, um, my family and I considered moving to Washington, and um, so we did a lot of uh, house hunting, a lot of trips to Washington, and uh, I was working on transferring with my work, all sorts of stuff like that, and whatnot, and well, whatever happened to came of it, uh, nothing came of it. Um, we did not move. We're staying here in Utah, the very top of Utah in Riverside. That's where I'm at. And, um, yeah, it just didn't work out. House prices and other stuff involved. Like, it just, it just, not, not that we didn't want to. We really, really wanted to move to Washington, but it just wasn't in the cards for us. And, uh, it's working out pretty good for us to stay here anyway. Um, my job is pretty stable. And, uh... I've got two kids that are going to be going to school here uh, in northern Utah, so might as well stay, stick around and figure things out. Um, whatever. Anyway, enough about all that, and uh, so, yeah, and I, it's taken me all summer to, uh, well, I, I take the summers off to spend time with my kids and stuff. They, mostly it's all about swimming and binge watching shows, but um, yeah. It's been a good summer, and uh, now that school started again, I might have the house to myself. Who knows, this is the very first day I've actually had the house to myself, and so I'm using it to make a catch-up episode for my YouTubes. And, uh, I gotta quit saying, and, uh, anyway, um, usually I make an episode where I do a campaign corner, tell you all the stuff that's on Kickstarter right now that I'm backing, and, um, stuff that you should know about. But, I don't have my notes ready for that. Uh, I had a little power out today, and it's been, like I said, this first day I've been home alone, and my laptop's been tied up with my wife's doing her stuff. So, I am only going to do a mailbox episode. So, this is actually more than a mailbox episode. This is everything I got all spring and summer long. It's been a long time, and I might even have missed stuff, because uh, I don't know what. I actually, I think I pulled stuff out and read it ahead of hand, because I wanted to be sure I want to... Maybe a Kickstarter was coming out at the exact same time I got it in the mail, and so I had to read it to know if I was going to back the next issues or so on the Kickstarters. And so, yeah, I'm a little behind on that. All right, so let's get started on that. This, I'm going from uh, newest to oldest, apparently, because I just barely got this in the mail this morning. Whoa, that's a lot of glare on there. Shoot. So this is Touching Evil Volume 3, hardback, very cool. Um, love it. I've got all three uh, hardbacks of it. Very good stuff. And, uh, yeah, so I just got that in the mail. Can't wait to read that. And I just got this in the mail today, also. Oh my gosh, that glare is driving me nuts. I might have to move that. What am I gonna do? I thought this ring thing was supposed to minimize glares. Let's see if I turn it. Oh, no, not the camera. Okay, oh yeah, there, no. There we go. So this is Aurora the Eagle, number one. Aurora and the Eagle, number one. And I got this in the mail today, so that's cool. Can't wait to read that one. Stick that in the read pile. And I got this one today. Worlds Away. There we go. Worlds Away, I got this in the mail today. Issue 1. It came with a sticker. That's cool. Oh yeah, and it came with print. So it's got a print. Same looking as the cover. That'll be good for the read pile. Read <clears throat> pile. Sorry. And, let's see, 
I've got here, oh man, these Virgin covers, they drive me nuts. Um, let's see if I can remember. This is Alice Carter and Robot. I don't remember picking the Virgin cover, but that's what I got in the mail. So, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Virgin covers, because then you forget what the book is. You have to, I don't know, it's hard to organize them. Anyway, so that's Alice Carter and Robot. I assume that it's based on uh, John Carter-ish, maybe, I don't know. Or Alice in Wonderland, we'll see. Came with a lot of cool prints, stickers, all that fun stuff. Put that in the read pile. I got Boston Metaphysical Society, Volume 2. That is really cool. And I have also got Boston Metaphysical Society, Volume 1. Yeah. Because I'm new to the series, so I got the ketchup. So that is really cool. Those are going in the read pile. Good stuff. Love that. Oh yeah, and that one came with a coloring book, Boston Metaphysical Society coloring book. Check those out. Awesome black and white stuff to color. Put that in the read pile. And it came with a bunch of magnets and a copper, very shiny bookmark, metal. That is cool. Yeah, I love it. So all that goes in the read pile. Oh, these are non-comic book related, but Darkman, I've been chasing that one down for a good while. My kids wanted to watch it because uh, Sam Raimi, as you know, directed this, and he directed the um, Doctor Strange, and so my kids were like, oh, I wonder what else he directed, and I'm like, oh yeah, he's directed all this. None of it's on my streaming stuff, so I gotta chase down the, all the st Sam Raimi stuff that I wanna show my kids. But, and I, I also got this, Gleaming the Cube DVD. Um, Based on the looks of this, I'm pretty sure it's a pirate copy, but it was so freaking hard to track down, so all I hope is that it actually works. Who knows? You never know with people, right? So, Gleaming the Cube. Good old Tony Hawk, Rodney Mullen stuff. Christian Slater. Yeah. What else is it from my mailbox? I got Miskatonic High 15. I'm not even sure what the last issue I read. I think I'm a couple issues behind, but maybe I'll throw all these into the same order on my read pile. I'll set this one aside. That way I can find all the Miskatonics and I'll just put it with the next one next up in the read pile. All right, let's see what order here. I got Thistle Heart number one also. Oh, very good print on there. Stickers, Ovation Comics sticker. I got a bunch of those already. Stuck to my comic book boxes. So, Thistle Heart number one, cool stuff. And yeah, obviously when I say I'm throwing it in my read pile, uh, eventually I will get around to doing a review of all these comics. And here is Zadar the Savage number two. That is so cool. Got a lot of prints in that one as well. I also have a um, enamel pin that I put in my ties at church. That's why I touched right there it's because that's where it usually goes um so yeah so you if you follow me on the twitters you will see see me post every sunday which uh pin i wear in my tie to church and also i've got my boys into that too so my boys like to put pins in their ties just like daddy oh and here's some more um i think i think this is miskatonic high but I'm not recognizing the print that goes with this one. But yeah, I think either that's Miskatonic High, something related to it. Oh my gosh, let me see what it is. Oh no, that's not Miskatonic High, what is this? Oh, this is Pocus Hocus. It, see, that's why I hate virgin covers. So this is Pocus Hocus. The trade. All right, that makes more sense. It looks very much like something that uh, Miskatonic High did. So there's Pocus Hocus. That's going in the read pile. Uh, 
I've got Drumsticks of Doom. Yeah, that's got a Kickstarter going right now. So if you're into this, check it out. Drumsticks of Doom. It came with an awesome uh, button and guitar picks. So I have daughters that play guitars. Two daughters that play guitars so far. So I will be passing those on to them. Stickers and all that fun stuff. This is a, a, a K-Lin cover. So that's pretty cool. Excellent stuff. All right, let me see here. My ring pile's gonna tip over. Don't want that. What else have I got here? Vampire Detective in Space. Oh man, I'm loving this storyline. And uh, this is from the uh, Unicorn Vampire Hunter, Caleb Palmquist. So, really cool stuff. Choke load of stickers in there. So you know I love stickers. I love stickers and pins and comics. Very cool stuff. Sorry, getting very dry here. Oh no, Vampire Detective in Space 1. So apparently I haven't read that yet, but I had faith in it because it's from the Unicorn Vampire Hunter creator. So I backed it without reading the first issue. So issue 1 and 2, good thing those are together in the read pile. Uh, and speaking of Unicorn Vampire Hunter, here's Unicorn Vampire Hunter 3. Good stuff. And here is Loot 2. Loot 2 is uh, Kaylin Smith. So that is very cool. I like the uh, first issue so much that I backed this one. Can't wait to read that one. It's like uh, Indiana Jones as she was a young teenage girl. And also uh, got this as an add-on with uh, Loot. So Unicorn here. That's really cool. This is a paperback version. Good stuff. Throw that into the read pile. And I got Kamehameha 1 and 1. Oh, I got two covers of Kamehameha. So, King Kamehameha is a uh, Hawaiian uh, ruler. And, oh, that's really cool too. These are Kablam printing. That's who I go through. So, very cool stuff. Uh, yeah, these are from uh, Mana Comics. Mana Comics, uh, this is a Mana Legends. King Kamehameha is a Hawaiian ruler, so that's really cool. Read some history there. It's always good. I think uh, they have a Pele comic coming out soon. Here's The Dancer number two. Awesome. That was a good read, too. And we love you. Got that in the mail. Got some dog tag stickers in there too. That's really cool. And a little note. Thanks so much for the love on Twitters, I think. Is that what that means? So yeah, that's really cool. Can't wait to read that. That's pretty hefty. That's got a lot of pages in it, so that's going to be a good read. Super Best Friend, number two of three. That's some good stuff. From... Uh, the Geek History Lesson Podcast, Jason Inman. So that's really cool. Good stuff. I got a really good read pile coming up, huh? By the time I get to Dallas, number three. Oh yeah, very good read pile. That one's about an apocalypse where uh, a bunch of people start mindlessly walking towards a center of the world and that center seems to be uh, Dallas. And this is a prequel to By the Time I Get to Dallas. And it looks like Caveman got trampled to death by a bunch of people that were just walking. So yeah, it doesn't matter what is in their way, what they've got going on. They just have this urge to get to Dallas. They can't even speak, no reasons. No, doesn't matter if there's water in their way. They will walk to the bottom of the ocean and drown. It's a pretty crazy phenomenon. Can't wait to read the rest of that. Oh yeah, and I got some White Ash Deluxe Edition here. That's really cool. That's a cool looking print too. Big thank you print. 
So yeah, can't wait to read some white ash. And here I've got Kadoja, Volume 2. Kadoja Volume 2, that's another one from a podcast I listen to called Making Comics. So, yes, let's see, Keith Foster is, I think, the uh, one of the creators of this one. So, Keith Foster, I know you've got a listener of uh, Making Comics on your hands. And so I heard you talking about this a lot, so I decided to back Kadoja. This is Volume 1, so I got the Volume 1 and 2. Very excited to read that one. And I got Magic Powder, Issue 1, and Issue 2, and some stickers there in the bottom. So Magic Powder, I think that one's on Kickstarter right now. So if you want volu Magic Powder's Volume 1, 2, and 3, check them out on Kickstarters right now. Good stuff. And here's the Saturn Effect Alpha, Issue 3. A lot of Kickstarter reads in here in this mailbox. And here, here's an awesome note that I got with Saturn Effect. And here's another spin-off from Saturn Effect. Saturn Effect Alpha, or Saturn Effect Helena. Throw that into the read pile. Here's three protectors. This one is from Keith Foster again. Keith, Keith Foster of uh, the Making Comics podcast. So check out that podcast. A lot of good stuff in that podcast. Uh, a lot of good pointers for uh, keeping busy, keeping motivated, and uh, getting getting your comics done. And what do we got here? Grim Grimoire Noir. Uh, this is a uh, pickup I got from a uh, library sale. So this is a used copy from a library. That'll be cool to read. Throw that in the uh, read pile. And that's what these are as well. I got Blackwood from Dark Horse Comics from the library pickup sale. And the Beyonders, number one. Beyonders from uh, library pickup. Beyonders is from Aftershock Comics. So that's another one that I was interested in. And you can't beat the, uh, the price that the library gives you. I had a brother-in-law that worked at the library. That's no longer the case, so I might not see those sales anymore. Got Berserkers, Solo Island number 5 here. Yeah, that's a good read too. This takes place in the 50s, I think, if I'm correct. So yeah, that's a good one. That's from the uh, creator of the Zadar the Savage. And here's Berserker Solo Islands 4. Yep. Very, very behind on my read pile. Here's Le Fay issue 5. That is on Kickstarter right now if you want to get issue 6. So issues 1 through 6 on Kickstarter right now. I backed it to get also, uh, there's a comic back in with it called Seeing Red. And I'm new to that one, so I'm getting issues 1, 2, and 3. So check out LeFay right now on Kickstarter. It is a good read. You will not be disappointed. If you like Je uh, Jessica Jones, but if you want to throw in some uh, fantasy, uh, folklore, kind of, if you took Jessica Jones and Hellboy, mashed them together, you would get LeFay. So check that one out. Very good read. Oh, more Miskatonic High. Miskatonic fi High 14 here. So I'm going to throw that over there with the 15. Can't wait to read that. And that one's got bookmarks and stuff with it all as well. This Katonic High 14 again. This one is, uh, I co-backed it with um, a buddy of mine at work. So I need to get this copy to him. Shoot. And here's Miss Katonic High meets Lovecraft P.I. But this is, this is a special black and white issue it looks like. Oh, it's a crossover epilogue. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That was a very good one, so I can't wait to see what that's all about. Here's one I backed on Kickstarter called The Fog Line. This is a prestige format. Or, um, yeah. So this is all sideways. It's Ashcan style. Really cool stuff. Black and white. Crime detective stuff. And it, even cooler, it came in an evidence bag. How cool is that? So I will keep that forever with that. That is amazing. Oh, 
here's another kablam. What do we got here? Scarlet Twilight. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, as I said, that one's a kablam. I print my Peter Pan the Vampire comics through kablam, so that's really cool to see fellow printers, creators doing that, too. So, we are Scarlet Twilight. Man, I love that story. Vampires. And think uh, if you took, ah, uh, man, Captain America. Vampires and uh, Spider-Man 2099, mix them all together, you'd have We Are Scarlet Twilight. Here is Filth and Grammar, a comic book about making comics. So that's really cool. Excited to read that one as well. And here's one I got in the mail. Oh man, this is a big boy. I got Section Zero. This was an add-on with Impossible Jones team up. So Impossible Jones team up. I also got Section Zero. Those are going to be cool. Can't wait to read those. I'm a little worried about my read pile tipping. There we go. Here is the last book you will ever read. Um, I got this one in the mail. Uh, I randomly found. So I'm going to have to set this one aside because I've been interested in this. I followed this person on Instagram back when I used to have an Instagram. I no longer have one now. But that made me want to, uh, the person's artwork on uh, the, their posts made me want to get that one. So I chased him down, found him. Ooh, here is Starside. Well, I don't know what issue this is because I got a special shiny cover. Oh, man, that's a lot of shine. Look at that. All that silver embossedness. Starside, so cool. Uh, if if that's not on Kickstarter right now, I recommend you Google Starside. Find out if you can find it on Etsy or something, or their own shop, Shopify or something. Because Starside, good comic to read. All right. Here is How I Slept My Way Through College. This is from Charlie Stickney, who makes White Ash. Very cool. I can't wait to read that. I still haven't read it yet. My read pile is just too big. Eventually, it'll be next in line. Or, if the Kickstarter for Volume 2 comes out and I haven't read it yet, I will pull it to the front of the list, because that's what I do. Oh, and here's a cool little uh, acceptance letter to the college. That's a really cool way to do it. And, let's see here. What else we got? I've got The Adept. I think that's a Charlie Stickney involved also. Yes. It's about Kung Fu and stuff. So that's cool. The Adept. Young Rebels. I think this one was an add-in or something. Or thrown in because something was late. Oh, dang it. Some of you used yeah, I don't, I can't remember what that, I think that might have came with a Lafay, but I'm not sure. Here is Hollowed, issue four. That one's a really cool run. Dete uh, buddy detective stories, stuff like that, so that's cool. And this one's the one that was sticking to some. Here is Area 51, the Helix Project, volume issue three, so that's cool. Um... I will have a review coming up on issues one and two soon. So we'll see what's going on with that. Black Coffins. There's a really cool one I can't wait to read as well. Prints in, in the back of that. Oh yeah, I got a lot of comics this summer, didn't I? Here's Daughter of Wolves. Really cool. A lot of stickers in there as well. Daughter of Wolves. Oh, and this one also came with a keychain. Check this keychain out. Oh, yeah. That's so good. I will have to throw that on my keys, huh? And, oh, man. Zadar the Savage. I'm going to have to figure out where, volume, where issue two of that was. But I've already read it because I had to know if I was going to back... Issue 1, and I hadn't done a review of it, so I will do a review of those two together. So as soon as I get to Zadar the Savage, I will 
do both at the same time. Twisting Time Anthology. That's a really cool looking book. Very awesome cover. Lots of pages. So excited to read that. And here is Spider Gwen. Um, I think that was a comic shop pickup. Can't remember which comic shop I got that one at right off the bat, top of my head, do. Oh, I do now. Okay, I know which spider. I got this comic shop at, or I got this comic at a shop in Portland called Words with Pictures or Books with Pictures. And uh, yeah, since I was in the Portland area during my trips to Washington, I stopped by and I, I picked this one up. I've been hearing about this book called Saga. Saga? Saga? A lot. I've always said Saga, like Dark Phoenix Saga. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's like that Voss base thing. Bag bake. Depends on what region you're from, I guess. But I got Saga number one here. I keep hearing so much about it, so I thought I'd try it out. So those were from a comic shop called Words with Pictures. So those are going in the read pile. Yeah. Yeah, we had a lot. We had a good time up there, and uh, when we stopped in Oregon, uh, while we were there, we went to the house that Goonies was made, and also the beaches that Goonies was filmed on. They are not close together, and uh, we stayed at a beach house, not too far from uh, the Cannon Beach, in a place called um, Newport. Yeah, I think we stayed in a place called Newport. They had an awesome aquarium down there in that area. A lot of really cool. Um, Antique stores. My daughters freaking loved antique stores. And so we stopped at a lot of those. Crude Night, the trade volume set. That one's a cool one. This is from Plastic Sword Press, I think. So that'll be cool. Can't wait to read that one. And Love University here. Oh, yeah, issue four. Love University issue four. That one's from uh, Class E Comics. That's a good read as well. Loving that story. Really cool stuff. Oh, here's a print that went to Love University. Now I got the duplicate, number four. That's pretty cool. Um, a future where there's a uh, pandemic that is focusing on organs and stuff. And so this doctor made duplicate organs, clone organs, to keep people alive. So that's a cool one. Then I've got Vampire Bloodlines here. Oh yeah, that's always a fun read. I was able to chat with the creator of that. And so that one holds a special place in my heart. I love uh, Vampire Bloodlines. Also a Kablam printer. So got to support my Kablamers, right? And this one's a cool one. This one is so freaking huge. This one here is called uh, Urban Animal, Volume 1. This is a fat one. Look how thick that is. It is so big. Uh, I backed this one a long time ago, and it finally arrived. Got stickers, bookmarks. So yeah, that was one. This is from Rocket Ship Entertainment. They're pretty cool. Uh, I think I first heard of them through um, the Awkward Yeti comics, and... Uh, yeah, those are some good stuff. And here's one I've followed on uh, the Twitters, War and Peas. Is that focusing? Nope, it is, does not look like it's focusing. Focusing? But these are all little comics, War and Peace, and uh, really funny stuff. These also come with stickers. That's a funny sticker. Come on, focus. Focus. All right, that ring light is not a friend. There we go. Is that? So yeah, War and Peace, really cool stuff. Love it. Um, yeah, that's a good story. So good comic. I will do a review on those soon. And here's something from Elsa Chartier. Uh, 
I backed a, this look, I think was a Drawtober, so that's why there's 30 routes, US Route 31, US Route 31. So each page of this was from a different Drawtober, and they took the various um, prompts and drew those. That was really cool. So suit, had to draw a suit, so why not a wedding suit? Pretty cool stuff, so I can't wait to check that one out. Really cool art style, and uh, what, did, what did this come with? Oh, got a bag with prints and a word balloon sticker, so that's cool. Word balloon stickers, prints, very cool stuff. Ah. Now I gotta rebag it, so that's cool. US Route 31, hardback, going in the read pile. Oh, and here's the drawn version of it for Drawtober. So that's all, every, every one of these is the pencil pages and random sketches that led to what the comic is. That's cool. That is a cool bonus to that. And here we go. I got toddler apocalypse. So how do you survive a, an apocalypse if you've got a toddler? Yeah, we just watched The Quiet Place 2 last night and they're dealing with having a baby through that and exactly. How do you how do you go through a toddler apocalypse? An apocalypse with a toddler. So this story, this is an Oh man, what is it called? I just lost the word. Anyway, it's a collection of stories about the apocalypse with toddlers. Man, why am I blanking on the word that that is? And Stand Still. Oh my gosh. So I got Stand Still issue 10 and 9 here. Stand Still is awesome. I also have a pin. It's in the shape of a square of Stand Still. So that's really cool. That came with this. Love that storyline so far. Lot, so many of these books that I back on Kickstarter should be shows because, I mean, they are freaking amazing. Here's Planer Jane, issue six that I backed on the Kickstarters. Planer Jane always comes with a playing card. There's a Joker. So that'll be cool. Read pile for that one. Oh, here's Planer Jane again. Planer Jane. The number's always hidden on it, so I gotta look for a second. Planer Jane 5, which that makes sense because the last one I held up, see that right there is supposed to be a 5. So Planer Jane Volume 5, and here's a 4. So that'll be a fun read, all those together at the same time. Put those in the read pile. And I think that's print, Planer Jane print right here. Very cool looking art style on that. And I got a big boy. What is this? Oh yeah, Lamp Black. That's really cool. It's uh, it's also a sideways format. So, very cool looking. Comic. All right. And what else have I got here? Some more. I got some Starlight issues. Four. 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 I got four different covers of Starlight 4 here, so that'll be cool. Read that one, and uh, I will figure out which cover I like the most and give the others away, so that'll, that'll get more people to it. So that, that has been my read pile, or my uh, mailbox pile so far. Then also while I was shop, while I was house hunting in Washington, I came across a comic store called Adventures Underground, and this this is in the town of Richland, which Rich, Richland, Washington, which is where we were uh, looking into moving. So I was excited to, that there was going to be a comic shop nearby, but you know, alas, I did not move. So still in the uh, merry old land of Utah here, where my comic shop is. About an hour or so away. So, 
What did I find at this comic shop? I got Paper Girls number six. That's really cool. Can't wait to read that one. All right, I'm gonna put these back in the bag so I know which shop they came from. And I got this Spider-Man number one. Um, this is by my very, very, very favoriteest artist, John Romita Jr. I like him so much that I named my boy Johnny. So that, I can't wait to see what's going on. Oh, come on, there we got Technical difficulties here. Here I've got the last book you'll ever read, issue two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. I found all these at Adventures Underground in Washington. So can't wait to read those. That'll be so cool. Um, yeah, the last book you'll ever read, someone I found on the Instagrams, spell, their last name is spelled L-E-I-Z. So check them out. They got some awesome art. Can't wait to read that. That's from Vault Comics. So where did I put, oh, here's the last book you'll ever read in one. So I'll put all those together. That'll be a fun read all at the same time. Okay, that's too full. So I'll put those right here. So on that, oh yeah. And I also made a couple stops to my own comic shop here in Ogden. And I got lots of books here. Which, it had been so crazy uh, going to Washington so much that you, you bet I asked them to hold this for me and I didn't realize that I had them hold it for me in Ogden. So I got this again, but you know what? It's my favorite artist, John Romita Jr., J.R. Jr. And so I got it again, yay! But I also got issue two from my uh, favorite comic shop, Gamers Asylum in Ogden, Utah. That's these guys right here. Oh yeah, Gamers Asylum on the Twitters. And I've got Spider-Man issue three. And Spider-Man issue four, Spider-Man issue five, yeah. Spider-Man issue six, that one's a heavy one too. So cool, 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 cool. Can't wait to read those. Then I've got Paprika number nine. Sweet Paprika, that's a really good storyline. Sweet Paprika number 10. And Sweet Paprika number 11. And then while I was at my comic shop, uh, I know I haven't read Volume 1 yet, but I found Volume 2 of Saga in the uh, used section. Picked this boy up for 7 bucks, so couldn't miss, you know. I mean, when's the next time I'm going to see these books for 7 bucks? And I got Saga number 3. Saga number 4. And Saga 5. And I don't know what these, these are just some freebies that came along with it. Some DC order things and a Marvel order thing. So, cool, cool. These are, these are from my comic shop in Utah here, Gamers Asylum in Utah. So if you live in Utah, check this place out. If you live in the Washington, check out Adventures Underground. And, uh, and if you live in the Portland area, check out Words with Pictures or Books with Pictures. Um, I'll, ha I'll have to look it up to see which one's which. But so that's that's where I'm at right now. Um, didn't move, but I, I have a this office is insanely messed up. I've got a lot of cleaning and work to do. Now that my kids are in school, I hope I can uh, focus on that, get busy on that, and uh, stop ADD and out and actually get some work done we'll see and uh yeah but this week um i'm going to be at salt lake comic-con uh they call it fan x salt lake comic-con so if you're in this salt lake area come and find me at artist alley table um a820 so cool i'll be at uh 
Fanex Salt Lake tomorrow, which is Thursday, September 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And uh, 24th, I'm actually only going to be there half day because that happens to be, or no, the 23rd. I don't know. Friday, I'm only going to be there half day because that is my boy's birthday. And so I'm going to cut out at 2.30ish um, and uh, head home. Stop at Gamers Asylum, pick up my hold, and uh, come to my boy's birthday party. Because he will just be getting out of school by 3 o'clock, so by the time I get home, it, it'll be 3 or 3.30, 4. It's, it's quite a drive from Salt Lake to, Utah, to Riverside, so uh, we'll see where that goes. So, yeah, come find me at Salt Lake Comic Con Fan X this weekend, and uh, hopefully I get these videos up and running again. I start doing better reviews. And uh, Kickstarter news for you so that you know what you, what you should back on Kickstarter and uh, all that fun stuff. And there's a new thing out called Zoop, but I so far have not backed one thing on Zoop because it, it confuses the hell out of me. I really can't, I can't figure out what I'm doing on there. I go to look at a book and um, there was one that I really wanted, but I, I really could not figure out which covers they were showing me and which was what was what. And, I'm like, ah, whatever. It's a new pro platform, and uh, I, I keep letting them slip by me because I just can't figure it out yet. So sorry if you're running a campaign on Zoop. Maybe I'll catch you when you print it outside of Zoop. So thank you for watching all this ramble, and um, hope you uh, join me next time on Renton Art Studios Comics YouTube channel. And uh, cool. Make sure uh, if you see me at the Fan X, say, hey, I watched your YouTube video. Just let me know if anybody out there is watching. That'd be cool. So thanks for watching. I'm going to uh, upload this to the computers now.